Well, good morning, Joe. It's uh, good to see you again. Uh, thanks for taking the time to meet with me. And uh, you know, I just read your most recent financial report here, and I noticed your company's doing very well. We're very encouraged, actually, by our increase in sales. We were a bit concerned about the downturn in the housing starts and whether that would affect our sales or window coverings. But you know something? Um, they've actually increased because of people staying in their homes and actually replacing their windows coverings. That's, that's great news indeed. We're, we're just beginning to plan our audit here, and I just want to uh, make sure that it's still a convenient time to ask you a few questions. By all means, I uh, often find the questions you ask uh, get me thinking about how I can actually improve my business operations, so I'm hoping that this morning is going to be no exception to that. Well, I appreciate your kind comments. We enjoy working with you and your staff as well. Our professional standards require us to, to ask some rather unpleasant questions on the subject of management fraud and employee fraud in, in organizations. So just, just note we're not accusing anybody of fraud. We're just performing procedures to make sure that, in fact, fraud did, did not occur. Now, you may be aware that fraud is on the rise in, in, everywhere, and it's particularly in small organizations such as yours. And, and in, you know, in light of this, we're going to be focusing on some of the controls and procedures you have in place over cash handling and, and asset management in general. And we're also going to have to consider the sensitive issue of management fraud, which, again, our procedures are going to look at journal entries made throughout the year, related party transactions, any biases and estimates, you know, such as inventory evaluation. So I just want to reemphasize, we're not saying fraud has occurred in your entity, but fraud is a risk that, from our perspective, requires treatment and some simple steps like a new policy or a new procedure of forced vacations can help minimize the temptation to commit fraud. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting, Marcus. You know, we've really never paid much attention to possible fraud by our employees. We, we know each other very well, and we trust each other here very implicitly. Uh, I'm not sure I want you around starting accusing people of uh, stealing, etc. So I'm interested what sort of procedures you recommend. Again, we're not accusing anybody, but the first thing I'd recommend is developing a policy for identifying assessing fraud risk within your entity. I think this should be done on an annual basis because those risks may change over time. And based on then on that assessment, we would develop some procedures and controls that could um, treat some of those most significant fraud risks. But sometimes just announcing that you're performing a fraud risk assessment and addressing some of the key risks just by itself sends a strong message to employees not to commit fraud. So um, would you be willing to help us get started in doing such a risk assessment? Absolutely, we'd be pleased to help you. We've got lots of tools that we can, we can share with you. So let's just set up a time after this meeting and uh, we can get started on that. Okay, so uh, is there anything else that uh, we can do or should be doing? Yes, as part of the assessment, you know, management should also consider whether the financial statements are materially misstated due, due to fraud. And this would include a consideration of you know, what class of transactions, account balances, disclosures, etc. are susceptible to the risks of fraud. But again, you know, we can help you get started here as well. Okay, thank you. I, I will definitely need your help. This is a brand new area for us. Okay, so let me ask a direct question then with, with respect to past events. Do you have any knowledge of actual suspect or alleged fraud in the entity? Um, not that I can think of, but we did have a new warehouse clerk last July uh, who we just didn't trust. We felt he may have been stealing blinds from the warehouse, but we never got any actual proof. The good news, of course, is that he's now left us. But um, other than that, I don't think I can think of anything. Okay, so just to, just to finish that thought, is there anything else you think I should know about in terms of fraud risk? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of, uh, but uh, you intrigued me about those procedures you perform. Can you tell me more about the procedures uh, in the area of management fraud? Sure, we're required to perform some procedures that directly address that issue. So for example, we've already asked you for a listing of all related party transactions. We're gonna be reviewing the assumptions underlying key accounting estimates. We're gonna examine journal entries and helping ensure a proper cutoff. So we're, we're well on our way. Well, thank you very much. We've known each other for a number of years now, so I'm hoping that uh, you'll not be going around accusing our management of fraud. So let's set a date to get together and discuss how we might perform this fraud risk assessment. I'm kind of intrigued by what we might uh, discover. So, Marcus, I wasn't disappointed at our meeting, and I, I thank you very much. That's great. Thanks for your time, and just let me know when's a good day for you, uh, to, you to come and uh, go through these procedures.